today where it's easy to be mediocre. You see mediocrity all around you. You're better than this. You get out of life and this experience exactly what you put into it. Welcome to Butterfly Transformations. You are with Tunisia Ali and I am here to help you to get the most out of life. I'm here to help you to rise above mediocrity or mediocrity. I prefer to say mediocrity. I've been saying that my whole life, so I'm gonna keep the T in there. But I'm here to help you to gain clarity, to up-level your mindset, to clear and heal energetic blockages so that you can manifest the glory of God that is within you, that is you. You are in fact an expression of the greatest, of the infinite, of the almighty of this field of, of moving, alive, primal, incomprehensible energy that is always present, that is omnipotent, that is constantly guiding you to move forward and to stand in and to step into the greatest expression of your divinity. If you have not purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, you can get it on Amazon, Amazon. So let's talk about this mediocrity thing, um, I have felt for a long time, and I used to tell my students this when I ran my school because I had a high standard, I had high expectations for my students because I always felt that students would rise to the level of the expectations of the authority figures or the inspirational role models that were before them. I feel like we live today in a society where we accept less because we are okay with being less. We don't expect a larger slice of life. And so we don't put in the kind of energy that we need to put in to our lives in order to live a fuller expression of ourselves. We live in a world where we take the easy way out. We live in a world today where it doesn't take a lot to get a lot of attention. Uh, people are out here today before us putting forth an image in front of us that didn't require a lot of preparation in order for them to be on the center stage of our reality. And we pour our time and effort into these uh, individuals or into these energies and it's really... Um, something that causes us to lose track of what is really important, uh, what our own personal expectations for fulfillment are, and what is really required in terms of real sustenance in order to step into your greatest version. In other words, we allow people who don't deserve to have our attention to have our attention. We are putting our time and effort into illusions, into the deceptions behind these realities um, that we see in front of us today. To keep kiss and keep it simple, stupid. You have people out here today before us who, and you, you, can, you can look at social media as a perfect example in terms of what glows up and what um, the algorithm support and where people put their attention and it's on those superficial shallow things that are not moving us forward as individuals or moving us forward as a society. You watch people rise and you watch them be knocked off a pedestal because they're not really striving to be about the message that they may put forth in front of us online. Um, we have graduations today, as an example, at every level of school. You graduate from second grade or you, you move to second grade, you get a graduation. When you finish third grade, you get another graduation. By the time you graduate from high school, you've been celebrated so many times, you forget that you really haven't accomplished anything other than what is standard, 
We have parents who pay our children for their grades. We create incentives for them that they do not deserve. We are afraid to stand up for a level of excellence that we deserve and so we don't give a level of excellence either. So I wanted to talk about some of those things today and I wanted to talk about what causes mediocrity because in your own personal life, if you are okay with accepting mediocrity, then you're not going to achieve your, achieve your God-given potential. You're not going to manifest uh, self-realization or self-actualization, which is really what you came here to do. You came here to create your own reality. You came here, uh, and part of that, as far as I'm concerned, is the worship. Recognizing that you have or that you are the divine expression in just a multitude of different forms and that you have a purpose here and you have a vision and that if you don't stay connected to that vision then you're not going to understand you're not going to be able to put your life in context if you don't if you're not connected to your vision you're not going to have a sense of self-worth a sense of self-esteem if you're not connected to your vision you're not going to have anything that is guiding your life and giving you direction if you don't have anything that's guiding your life and giving your life direction then anything in the world can come in and take you off your path if you don't have a vision or you don't feel a sense of purpose in your life you're not going to strive for the best you can't grow up, you can't grow up or you can't grow level by level by level, increasing your access to the blessings that are available to you by design if you're not giving your best and putting your best in. And it's impossible for you to give your best and put your best in if you're not connected to something greater than yourself, such as your vision, your purpose, and everything else that aligns you with your divine essence. So me mediocrity is something that oftentimes we can settle in when we're not in the right environment, when we don't have the right people around us, when we're not requiring more of ourselves, when we aren't really willing to put the effort in to rise above our circumstances or our karma or uh, the cycles within our families and so forth and so on. So let's just kind of dig into that today and let's take a, a, a dive into what is this uh, mediocrity and, and how does it manifest in our lives and what is it that causes this mediocrity? So the first thing I want to talk about is when we don't require more of ourselves. When you don't require more of yourself, then you can't get in touch with the aspect of yourself that is always yearning for more. When you don't require more of yourself, it's easy for you to accept life at the level that it's being fed to you. If you don't require more of yourself, then you're not going to be thirsty. You're not going to be someone who wakes up with goals and objectives and sets out to achieve them. You're not going to be energized because essentially what that means is that you're willing to just play ball at the level that you're playing it at and you really are not striving for anything better in your life and you're not expecting more of yourself, which means you really can't grow, okay? Um, something else that causes us to fall into mediocrity is allowing our inner dialogue or the things that we feed ourselves, the soul food, to convince us that either we don't need to do better than we're doing, we're doing enough, or there's some type of limitation in how far we can go. I am somebody that believes that as long as you are on this earth, you are going to be growing, you are going, or you're supposed to be growing, and as long as you are growing, you're going to have tests before you, from the cradle to the grave. You're never, ever going to be at a place where you can just sit down and rest. Not to say that you shouldn't make peace with life and you shouldn't let the journey unfold. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is... There's going to always be something before you that is going to help you to expand so that you can manifest a greater expression 
of your potential. And as long as you are willing to take that in and allow that expansion to shift your energy and grow you, then you're going to continue to be alive. You're going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to have energy. In other words, you're going to continue to be in this world. If you look at the people who are older in your life, seniors, people who continue to grow, people who continue to move, who continue to study, who continue to exercise, who continue to take classes, that's a conscious choice that they're making each day that they get up, that they want to stay in this world and that they want to continue to create, that they're still alive. When you begin to contract, when you begin to no longer connect with your purpose and you begin to um, sort of shrink back from the acceptance and the acknowledgement that you have to make a conscious choice to live each and every day and that you have to make a conscious choice to connect with a sense of purpose each and every day and that this world of, of, of creative energy is something that you have to actively participate in and it's not just given to you and that when you decide that you don't want to actively participate, then you begin to decay. Then you begin to um, die. You begin to be a part of the recyclable material that brings new things um, into, um, into fruition by way of consuming those things that are no longer serving a purpose. So limited thinking and, and making excuses for why you are not able to achieve certain things and not pushing yourself to go to the next level is a major reason why oftentimes we accept that it's okay to just cruise through and not expect much more of life. It's a more comfortable place to be in. Another reason, number three, is accepting other people's standards for your life. If you look around at the people around you, I like to refer to sometimes the masses as the sheep. And I will say, and you've heard me say before, the sheep never realizes or looks up to see the glory of the sun until its neck has been slit. I don't know where I got that from, but I've been saying it for some years. And there's glory and magnificence and awakening and miracles and just wonderment in this earthly experience as beautiful of a struggle as it is because you have to be in it each and every day and you have to be on top of things because you're going to get immediate feedback from spirit and the universe if you are not but the masses of people around you will be doing what the masses do they will be accepting life at a level that requires the least amount of effort for them. They don't expect very much of themselves. Everything is difficult. They never have a lot of energy for personal growth and forward momentum. They're not really um, trying to arrive at a higher expression of why they're here in the first place. They're satisfied to do what everybody else is doing. So if you attach and align your expectations of yourself with those people, then that's the group that you're gonna be in. You're gonna be led to slaughter right along with those people. That is where the mediocrity comes in. You have got to decide that you're not gonna accept less of, less of yourself. You have got to be committed to understanding that you can't do what other people are doing because what other people are doing is what is leading to everything that is causing your level of dissatisfaction in your life because you are accepting something that really doesn't resonate with you. You're accepting a level of reality that does not give way to the recognition and acknowledgement that you came here with certain skills, gifts, and talents that need to be maximized. And that if you live at the level of mediocrity, it's not gonna happen. It takes, uh, what did I say, iron sharpens iron? It takes time, effort, um, it takes um, ingenuity, innovativeness in order to sharpen the person that you are. It takes effort. It takes pouring into yourself in order to pull out from the pack and be willing to shine in the way that you came here to shine. You can't be uh, content 
doing what everyone else is doing. You can't judge yourself by what everyone else is doing because everyone else may be okay to be at the level that they're at. My mom always says the poor and the ignorant will be with us always. And we're not talking about money here. We can be talking about spiritual impoverishment. We could be talking about intellectual destitution. Whatever it is we're talking about, what we're saying is that there will be certain groups of people in every time and every society that are okay with just existing. But that's not what you were created for, and that's not why you are here. So you have to uh, pull out from the pack. You can't be a sheep. You have to recognize that you can't compare yourself to what everyone else is doing. You can't let the people around you set the standard. The, the mill hill or the people in the peanut gallery or the naysayers. You can't get stuck down there with where, where they are because you're not of them in the first place. Um, this next one is really important and that's not putting in the work that challenging yourself requires. This is a big one. This is a super, super big one because there's so many things that can come into your life from all manner of directions to try to take you off your path. When you are challenging yourself to go to the next level or you're challenging yourself beyond mediocrity, you're challenging yourself to reach self-actualization or to realize something that is important to you. You can't be comfortable not challenging yourself. You can't be comfortable not being willing to put in the work that is required to get where it is that you're going. You have to pour yourself into your day-to-day -day activities. You have to carve out time. You have to find time. You have to eliminate distractions in your life. You have to be willing to meet the challenges of excellence. You have to set the bar of excellence for yourself. I believe that there is nothing in this world that you and I cannot achieve. Absolutely nothing. But what is the differentiating factor here is how much are you willing to forego and or sacrifice in order to get to the place where you want to go first of all where is it that you're trying to go and how is it that you're going to get there in terms of what is it that you need to do and when you talk about you decide for yourself what it is you need to do you have to understand within that same statement on the other side of it is what is it that I need to give up in order to be able to do what it is that I need to do remember that you are here on this planet to experience your greatest creation of your reality you're here on this planet to manifest greatness and to take uh, advantage of the divine imperative to live the abundance, the prosperity, and the affluence of a life lived on purpose. That is why you're here. You're here to leave a legacy. You're here to uh, manifest greatness and to leave something behind for others, whether they are your children, whether they are people you work with, or people in your larger community, people in your parish, whatever it is. So understanding that has to be a part of your personal declaration. The thing that you tell yourself each and every day when you awaken that you align with, that you put in the forefront of your mind to help energize you for whatever it is that you're supposed to be on, on target with. It is, it is imperative that you realize that it requires intentionality and it requires mindfulness. These things don't just happen. Okay, we have a lot of things in the world that distract us, a multitude of things. And the same way you get up and brush your teeth and wash your face and get in the shower is the same way that you have to wake up each day and realign with your goals and your objectives for today. And you have to begin knocking things out that are going to help you move towards whatever it is you're trying to accomplish because there is nothing that is out of reach for you. There's nothing that if you do it and you continue to do it and through the law of multiplicity and the law of convergence and you continue to put the energy out there and that rippling effect continues to uh, attract um, itself back to you, there's nothing that is not going to grow as long as you water it and as long as you nurture it. 
this is how you get beyond mediocrity. Okay. Uh, looking for outside validation, which is similar to the sheep. Looking for people to cheer you on, rally around you, support you, tell you you did a great job. Uh, looking for people to kind of give you whatever it is you feel you need to move forward or to take that leap into the unknown or to take that next step or to open that business or to apply for that job or to take that class or to walk away from your hometown where all of the mealy mouth people were and to step out on your own to find your soul tribe, whatever it is. Waiting for people to cheer you on and root for you and giving uh, validation to powers outside of yourself to help you engineer your life will be one of the first things that'll keep you off track. You can't worry about whether or not you have the support that you feel you need to be able to enjoy before taking the step towards whatever it is you're supposed to do. You don't need that. You have yourself, you have spirit, you have the creator, you have your sense of purpose. That's all you need as your rudder, okay? Or as your instrument for helping you to know whether or not you're moving in the right direction. You cannot externalize your power or turn your destiny over to other people and then when they don't mirror back to you what it is that you would like to have them mirror back in terms of support it de-energizes you you can't give anyone that kind of power so don't expect that when you're trying to step outside of mediocrity or you're trying to cultivate a new space or a new energetic signature for yourself you move forward irregardless or regardless of what the support is around you or the lack thereof. Um, the last thing that I have down here in my notes is that you have to be unbudging with the, or unmovable with the, I guess the acceptance in a way of your, your skills, your gifts, your talents, your passions. You have to know that there's something special about you and you have to know that who much is given, much is required. And because there's something special about you, that only you can take that to the next level and that no one else can do it for you. You have to be committed to allowing that flower to blossom. You have to be committed to putting forth the energy that you need to put forth to take that journey forward in your life that's going to help you bring that stuff out into its full manifestation. You have to have a deep knowing and a realization in your heart that this is your quest, that this is something that you're supposed to be doing. And this is connected to that vision for your life that I've talked about quite a bit. If you don't have a vision for your life, how can you move forward? You can't see. It's like groping in the dark under the bed trying to find your shoe and just hoping that you stumble upon something that feels like a shoe. And I think there's a um, something in one of the great books that says that people without a vision will perish. If you don't have a vision, you don't have anything. If you haven't identified the direction that you're supposed to be going in and then matching that up with the skills and the talents and the gifts and the passions that you were given in order to do that, you're not going to be able to move forward. So it's those things in your life that are the things that you have to cling to as the justification for why you're on the path that you are on and no one can do it for you but you. I hope that there is something in this video that piqued your curiosity or something that was provocative or stimulating enough for you to reflect on that can help you to understand why mediocrity is not okay. And we celebrate when we put the time and the effort into something, when we're reaching our goals, when we are doing what we really know that we should be doing, or when we're doing the things that we are expected to do. And how do you know what you're expected to do? You know what you're expected to do because you're in touch with the div divinity within you. You're in touch with the God within you. Okay, your connection to spirit that always is trying to put you on the path 
that you're supposed to be on whether or not you are listening. So those are the things that are really important in terms of stepping outside of this settling business or this mediocrity or this just, I'm just going to accept things the way they are and this is going to be good enough for me. It may be good enough for everybody else, but is it good enough for you? You're with Tunisia Ali, helping you to gain clarity, up-level your mindset, clear and heal energetic blockages so that you can manifest the glory of God that is within you, that is you. If you have not liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe so that you can come back to the channel. Make sure you turn your notifications on so that when I post a new video, you will be able to partake of the video and the information and share this video if it meant something to you. Have a beautiful day. Please do not forget to be peaceful, productive, prosperous, and live passionately.